Hi, I'm Chaffley, and this is Chaffley's Kitchen. Now, we live in a modern world of wonder, and if you're like me and you've got one of these mobile telephones, you'll find that if you could caress it and poke it in just the right way, 30 minutes later, somebody will turn up at your front door with some dinner. <gasps> what? Of course, we'd love to live on greasy slop hurriedly prepared and delivered every night of the week, but have you considered cooking at home? Let me introduce you to the world of instant stuff. <laughs> Using the medium of dried carbohydrates and flavoured dust, food manufacturers can take you all around the world. This one's from Japan, you know. And this one, Bombay, if you can believe it. <laughs> With dried carbohydrates and MSG flavoured dust, manufacturers can bring you culinary wonders from around the world. Let's start with this fella. It's from China, you know. Oh. Now, every pot noodle has a little sachet of sauce. Throw it away immediately, it's rubbish. Now, this is very hot water. Do get an adult to help you if you need to. Fill it up to the bit. And wait. I mean, you can read the instructions first. Nobody ever does, but you could do. This abomination is called Sharwood's Curry and Rice Chicken Tikka. Let's give that a go. Ooh. This isn't a review channel, but... Oh. I can see the, the fill to here line. We'll see how we get on with that. Instant pasta un sauce. Check that out. Ooh, let's give that. Oh, smells proper cheesy and all. Kappa soups, much loved, uh, staple of uh, the back of everybody's cupboard. Don't be fooled by the advertising. There are no cups included in this. You have to provide your own. So you have zero cooking skills and all of a sudden you've got piping hot food from around the world at your fingertips. All because you know how to filter water and run a kettle. Don't, if you're American, don't put your kettle on the stove. Uh, I know you Americans do like to put half a cup of uh, water in the microwave for your water heating needs, but Microwaves are some way down the line. Uh, we are talking about instant stuff today and maybe toasting next time. And we'll look at microwaves in due course. That's getting dangerously close to real home cooking when you're dealing with a microwave. Well, these are, as you can see, looking really not remotely appetizing. Oh my goodness. What do you think? Yeah, I was, I was hoping to champion this stuff, but it's looking a little bit... Oh goodness me. Mm. Yeah, that one's nice. What about this? If you're making an instant thing and it's crunchy, you haven't left it long enough. It doesn't matter how long you rehydrate this. You could have this steeped in boiling waters for hours and you'll still have completely hard powdery peas in it. It's, it's, not, just lunch, it's not just lunch and dinner, you know. You can also get instant puddings, and in this case, instant breakfast. Uh, and if you look, it's caramel fudge flavor, which is, uh, could be either a pudding or a breakfast, couldn't you? Shall we do it, shall we? Let's do it. Now, as far as I understand, instant porridge is just oat dust with flavorings in. So uh, some people can tolerate it. And I think it is tolerated rather than enjoyed. Does that look like breakfast to you? Not 
not bad at all, actually. Now, I know I've been a bit disparaging about many of the instant offerings from the supermarket, and that's because they're all shit. One product that I do like, and I actually like it, although not too often, is these, Idaho and Mash. Not a sponsor, unfortunately. If you're, if you're listening, Idaho and Mash, give us a shout. I could do with the, uh, the backhanders. But this makes a mashed potato that is totally adequate and is ready in seconds. So uh, I'm taking the mickey out of all the others, but I, I'm a big fan of the Idaho and Mash. So there. Now, of course, you can cook. People say you can't cook. They don't know that you can make Chinese chow mein just like it's nothing. They don't know you had hot porridge for breakfast. They don't know that you might have a cheesy pasta sauce in the evening, followed by some mash. This modern instant lifestyle is all very well, but there comes a time when you really need to impress. That's when you get the toast around. So that's the first little episode of Chuffley's Kitchen's all about instant stuff. Uh, so like my smash button, click all the things, and I'll see you next time.